second truck being loaded. What you're watching is covert surveillance, captured by a private investigator. 160 kilometre zone. Hired by a government agency to spy on its own workers. Four, three. It's better to follow people at the night because they can't see who's behind you. 120. There were a lot of hours where we were picking up log trucks, following log trucks. It's extremely dangerous. Six, one. According to the PI who captured this footage, it wasn't just workers who were spied on. This video footage was taken at 5.53 on Monday morning after the covert operation. Anyone deemed a troublemaker could be a target, including members of the public. Right. Alan Davey has done everything from uncovering cheating spouses to tracking stolen cattle through the outback. I've been working in the contract secret service industry for 15 years. I work for corporate entities, for government agencies, for private entities, um, locating people, locating stolen assets. 843, 110. Court documents show that in 2010, Mr Davey was hired by Vic Forrest's Victoria's state-owned timber company. He was tasked with spying on its contractors. My mission there was to follow the log trucks and monitor their speeds, be it on the road or while I was sitting off the road and I utilised a speed gun. But in 2011, he claims he was told to focus on a new target, a conservationist called Sarah Reese. Save Sylvia Creek! Save Sylvia Creek! A site like this should never have been sanctioned for logging. Big forest log up! At the time, Sarah was the public face of a campaign to stop planned logging at Sylvia Creek, about 75 kilometres from Melbourne and was involved in a court action to stop what she thought was illegal logging. Environmental groups say they're exploring their legal options and haven't ruled out taking radical action. We will do what it takes. They wanted me to get as much dirt as I possibly could on the woman. That was the exact words. He said to me, I want to know what she's doing in the next four days, where she's going, who she's going to see, and the places she's visiting. I went to the subject's house and monitored her for a few hours that afternoon and the following day I followed her into Melbourne. I obtained video footage and uh, still pictures of Miss Reese. I was on the understanding that Sarah Reese was a person of great interest that, that Vic Forrest was trying to shut up. Sarah didn't realise she'd been spied on until years later. It was violating. Yeah, I think that's all um, pretty awful, to be honest. Why do you think they had such a problem with you? Because I was effective. Because I was using the system that had been designed to hold them to account. And because they were seeking to uh, damage my standing. Did you think it was a bit strange to be asked to dig up dirt on members of the public? No. That's, uh, that's what I'm trying to do. I, I, I do it in a, in a professional manner, in a very diligent manner, in a very, very factual manner. What content did you hand over? I handed over uh, still pictures of, of Miss Reese, four days of absolutely nothing. Just living a very normal life. Vic Forrest didn't agree to an interview and didn't answer written questions. In a statement, a spokesperson said it takes the claim seriously and will commission an independent investigation into the matter. Government agencies allegedly spying on their citizens, there is a real question there about whether that's lawful, whether it complies with our privacy laws and whether it's consistent with our rights under the Charter of Human Rights that we have in Victoria. Sarah was not Mr Davies' only target. He says Vic Forrest also hired him to spy on protesters. In 2011, he was doing just that when he claims he was captured and badly assaulted, suffering multiple injuries. He sued Vic Forrest over the incident and hasn't worked for them since. The matter was settled out of court. While Mr Davey walked away, Vic Forrest's pursuit of Sarah hasn't ended. In 2019, she was deputy chair of the Australian arm of the Forest Stewardship Council, or FSC. Vic Forrest was unhappy with Ms Ree's position on the FSC board. It compiled a dossier on her and used it to try to get her sacked. It contained hundreds of tweets they said showed Ms Ree's was anti-forestry. Sarah Rees says it was digital surveillance. 
Yeah, it's a repeat of 2011. You know, this idea of surveillance on citizens because they don't like what we're talking about, because they don't like us expressing a view. The dossier claimed Ms Rees was trying to discredit Vic Forrests and requested that she be removed from the board. I was to become chair and due to the level of pressure, I was challenged and uh, I had to withdraw. Other documents show activists aren't the only ones targeted by Vic Forrests in this way. Dr Chris Taylor is a forest scientist from the Australian National University and was another member of the FSC board. So a complaint was made against me and it was following my raising of logging on steep slopes that were in breach of the Forest Practices Code. Come on. In the complaint I saw full details of a lot of my social media tweets, my academic articles, my commentary in the media talking about my research. It was quite off-putting that they would actually dedicate this time to surveil me in that regard. FSC International commissioned an independent assessment of the complaint. The report is marked confidential, but 7.30 has obtained a copy. It says the actions of the board directors were acceptable, but the investigators were taken aback by the reaction and escalation to those actions. When the dossier landed on the boardroom table and we saw the extent of the surveillance, I think we were all quite surprised by the lengths they were going to to ensure that I didn't become chair. In my view, I think Vic Forrest sought to remove my credibility there by my voice. The Andrews government declined an interview and didn't answer written questions on the matter. I think at a time when stakes could not be higher for our environment and there are dire warnings about the state of the earth, it's really reprehensible to see government agencies using repressive tactics against those who are speaking up to defend the environment. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 730's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.